Hey friends, I want to share with you out of Luke chapter 12 today, Jesus tells the parable of the rich fool. Listen to what he says. Someone in the crowd said to him, being Jesus, teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, man, who made me a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. So he says, uh, this guy comes up, hey, Jesus, hey, tell my brother he needs to share with me. He's like, hey, who said that I'm in charge of, of that over you? He says, but watch out. Don't covet things. Watch out that your, your heart's going to want other things. Realize that your worth is not in how much stuff you have or maybe the, the type of stuff that you have. Is it name brand, things like that? He goes on to say this, and he told them a parable saying, the land of a rich man produced plentifully. And he thought to himself, what shall I do for I have nowhere to store my crops? And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and all my goods. Okay, so uh, I have one storage unit, but I have so much stuff that I need to get a second or a third or a fourth storage unit. I need a bigger storage unit. I need a bigger garage. I need more, uh, more places to hold my stuff. Sound familiar? And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. Look at all this stuff I finally have. Now I can relax. I worked hard. But God said to him, fool. This night your soul is required of you and the things you have prepared. Whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Man, what a warning, a, a parable that Jesus shares there to teach us. It's not wrong to have stuff, but are you pursuing stuff more than you're pursuing God? Is it just all about the, the things of this life? And what's interesting, friends, is the tighter we hold on to this life, the more anxiety and fear that we have because we're so focused on the stuff here and, and life here that when trials come or, or our stuff, something gets damaged or something, uh, the possibility of our stuff being stolen or damaged, it stresses us out even more. Whereas scripture would tell us to hold these things loosely and hold tight to Christ and continue to look heavenward. Friends, I hope this is an encouragement for you today.